publisher of 500 new books annually, with 120 journals in circulation and 5,000 titles in electronic form, featuring the works of Nobel laureates. One company has shaped the landscape of scientific and academic publishing in the Asia-Pacific and beyond. World Scientific. First established in Singapore in 1981, World Scientific is today the largest scientific and academic publishing house in Asia Pacific. With editorial, sales and production facilities in 10 major cities across China, India, the UK, Switzerland and the US, World Scientific launches over 500 new books and publishes some 120 academic journals annually including the prestigious International Journal of Modern Physics, the International Journal of Mathematics, and the International Journal of Bifurcation and Chaos. By integrating vertically and horizontally its operations and markets, World Scientific has achieved remarkable synergy through its acquisitions and subsidiaries. Amid a rapidly changing media environment, World Scientific has achieved a leadership position in scientific and academic publishing by leveraging on new technologies and maintaining the highest standards in quality, content and academic integrity. Among its biggest subsidiaries is the world-renowned Imperial College Press that publishes books and journals in over 20 disciplines. Started as a partnership between World Scientific and the Imperial College London in 1995, the Imperial College Press became a fully owned subsidiary of World Scientific in 2006. The idea of setting up a scientific press came about as a desire by one man to give back to his academic community. In 1970, I returned to Singapore from the UK after completing my PhD and research in theoretical physics. During that time, there was no international scientific publishing house whose headquarters is based in Asia. So we decided to set up an international publishing house in Singapore, as Singapore has a good environment for such a venture. There was a high standard of English and production costs were relatively low. World Scientific began operation with just five staff, but by 1987 it had opened its first overseas office in New York. The following year, its London office opened. In 1986, the first issue of the International Journal of Modern Physics A made print. In 1991, World Scientific was awarded the exclusive rights to publish the entire series of Nobel lectures from 1971 to 1990. That same year, it opened its third overseas office in Bangalore, India. As World Scientific made further inroads into the Asian market, it opened its Hong Kong office in 1994 to serve authors, book distributors and retailers there. A year later, Taiwan became another base for World Scientific. 1995 heralded in a new era of growth with the establishment of the Imperial College Press that would go on to publish 650 books and 8 journals in the decade to follow. With the advent of the Internet in 1996, World Scientific soon developed its online bookstore and put four of its journals online. Commencing with its first online journal, the International Journal of Modern Physics, World Scientific went on to put all its journals online. It is now moving on to mobile devices. In 1998, the first World Scientific Nobel Public Lecture was delivered by Professor Stephen Chu, joint winner of the 1997 Nobel Prize in Physics. By the end of the millennium, World Scientific has acquired its own 6,000 square meter headquarter building, housing state-of-the-art facilities, 
But the best is yet to come. By the year 2000, World Scientific had become one of the most successful scientific and academic publishers in Asia. In 2000 and 2002, it won the prestigious Enterprise 50 Award by the Economic Development Board and Accenture. The 2000s saw the rise of China and India as emerging markets of the world. An office was set up in Shanghai in 2003 to seek collaboration with Chinese research institutes. As one of the first publishing houses in China, World Scientific grew rapidly in prominence with the publication of several magazines under the Chinese Academy of Science and also the setting up of the World SciNet China Consortium. To boost its editorial capabilities in China, World Scientific opened its Beijing office in 2004. The office is located within Peking University. China, now second only to the US in terms of volume of scientific papers published, is the biggest market in Asia, outranking Japan. In 2006, World Scientific acquired all shares of the Imperial College Press. A Geneva office was set up in 2006 to serve the scientific community at CERN as well as to touch base with the other organizations such as the World Health Organization and the UN office. In 2009, Dr. Poir was elected as a Fellow of the American Physical Society. And in 2010, World Scientific co-founder Ms. Doreen Liu won the RBS Coots Financial Times Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Women in Asia Awards and the 2010 Women Entrepreneur of the Year at the Asia Pacific Entrepreneurship Awards. World Scientific also won the much coveted Singapore Prestige Brand Award 2010. The Nobel Lecture Series represents some of the most important scientific and academic work done in fields ranging from physics through medicine to literature. World Scientific is proud to be the exclusive publisher of this body of work, spanning the entire 20th century and further from 2001 to 2005. Not resting on its laurels, World Scientific has developed the Nobel Lecture Series into an annual event featuring keynote addresses by Nobel laureates. The inaugural Nobel Laureate Lecture Series was delivered in 1998 by Professor Stephen Chu, joint winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1997 and currently the United States Secretary of Energy. The following year, Professor Li Yuanse, the 1986 joint winner of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, delivered the second lecture. This was to be followed by Professor Douglas Osheroff, the 1996 winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics. In the years that follow, the public lecture series became the podium of choice for other Nobel laureates, like Professor George Porter, Professor Martinus Vletman, and Professor Hamed Zawail. In addition, World Scientific has also worked closely with many other Nobel laureates, contributing as authors, editors, and advisors for both books and journals. Publishing is a very good business. It is a gentleman's game. We don't squeeze people. It is also like wine. The business gets better with time. I think publishing will always flourish as long as we continue to publish high quality material. Because there is always a quest for new knowledge. It is part of the human spirit. I have enjoyed every day of my time at World Scientific. We are learning every day. As we celebrate our 30th year in publishing, World Scientific is grateful for the immense support from the scientific and academic communities. Their work continues to thrill and enthrall us with their infinite potential for creating a better world tomorrow. A world of knowledge that we wish to share with generations to come. World Scientific. Connecting great minds.